Have you ever looked at your fish finder and wondered, what the heck is that down there? Well today, through a mix of technologies, we're going to take you on a little tour and show you some really cool things from above the water using a drone, from below the water using Scuba Pro equipment, and on your fish finder. We're going to tie it all together. There's a real mental thing that needs to happen when you understand your graph, you become a better angler instantly. And when you walk away, you're going to get it on what your fish finder is telling you. You know, for years as anglers, we had 2D sonar, and basically it shoots a sonar beam straight down below the boat. The tough part about that is you really only get a small amount of bottom coverage, about a third of your depth. So if I'm in 30 feet of water, I can only see a 10 foot diameter circle. But some really smart person at Humminbird said, I'm gonna pioneer something different. I'm gonna take that side imaging beam and I'm gonna point it out to the side to the left and to the right. So with side imaging, it allows you to cover water and find the structure in the fish at a much faster rate than you could conventionally just looking down. For instance, you can look out to the left-hand side 240 feet and to the right 240 feet for a total coverage of like 480 feet. The first thing that I wanna look at are rocks. Fish tend to hang around rocks. There's lots of food and we're gonna go over a boulder field. Now there's a mix of pumpkin-sized boulders, orange-sized boulders, and some great big things. And I'm telling you what, when you get around a rock that big, fish really love to hang around there. So we're gonna take the drone up, we're gonna take a look from overhead, but also show you what it looks like from underwater. So I'm coming up from a big flat, and you can see there's really nothing there. Well, fish like to hang out by something. I got a ton of like basketball-sized boulders over here, and there's a really good sharp one. You can see the edge on that one. And look behind that rock. There's a shadow, so when the sonar beam hits the face of that rock and bounces back, we get a great return, but on the back side, there's really no sonar, so your unit actually paints in a shadow behind there. Sometimes when you're looking at wood or even rocks, you can see that something is there by the shadow and not even by the reflection. Take a look here, there's a big boulder field, some really nice mixed sized boulders in through here, and then some really big ones. So fish love to find an ambush point and look at this one over here. You got a hard face, it's really bright. You get a really great return off the sonar there. And again, that shadow is back behind that big boulder showing you it's really big and the sonar is not getting past there. All right, so I got a marker buoy on that big rock and I wanna show you what it looks like on side imaging. We'll show you what it looks like from the air. You know, and I look even, this is a fantastic place, mix of boulder sizes, and there's a tree off the left-hand side. On the side imaging, I get the detail of even the limbs off of that tree that's been down. Fantastic place for fish to hang out. You got a hard bottom, you have a tree, and then you have a transition line right into a soft bottom. That is a place that is money. You know, in lakes when they have smallmouth bass, when you get on rocks, that means their primary forage is crayfish. You're gonna find smallmouth always around rocks, but when you find timber mixed in, it's just the best of both worlds. It's a fantastic fish holding piece of structure. So right here you can see there's just kind of dark area. It's really just a look at the basin of the lake. So it's a real soft bottom, but here is a perfect transition zone. That soft mud basin turns into rock right here. And so here's what I wanna do. I wanna give you an up close personal look at this. I'm gonna drop a waypoint on this transition right here. Mark that one. In fact, there's a nice isolated boulder right at the edge of that. I'm gonna hit mark so I got that waypoint. And then my friend Kyle right here, he's got the scuba gear. He's all scuba pro'd up. He's gonna take a dive down. I'm gonna put this, this marker buoy right on that waypoint. Kyle's gonna follow the string down and give you an up close personal look of what a transition zone really looks like. Okay, so I'm just coming around. I'm gonna get right on top. You can see my zoom level is at 20 feet and I'm actually right on over that right now. So I'm gonna drop this buoy, give Kyle a visual, and this is gonna really give you a good picture of what fish are looking for when they move from one area to the other. There are times of the year where fish really travel, and this is exactly the kind of highway they follow. Kyle, you ready? Awesome, thumbs up. So Kyle's gonna dive the string right down there. This will give you an up close personal look of what this stuff really looks like in real life, not just on your fish finder. Away you go, hit it.
Okay, so we've been looking at side imaging and seeing all the structure and the transition areas that that brings, but I wanna look straight down in the boat. So I'm gonna to go to a quick button that shows me 2D conventional sonar and down imaging. And looking at these side by side, this is brilliant. On the bottom, you got just a little lump here, and I don't know if that's a rock or if it's fish tightly balled up, but when I look at the down imaging, down imaging gives me great detail on what's down there. I can see a boulder, a boulder, a boulder, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boulders that all look like that lump. And it's just the way the beams are arranged. Sonar is just kind of a general beam and it does not give you the detail that down imaging does. Running those two screens side by side give you a great look at all the stuff that's down there at the bottom. There's some, look, look at that, fantastic rocks sticking up. And then we're gonna come up on top of this rock reef. But that is a fantastic look at the detail in a transition zone. All right, so we're coming off this rock hump right where Kyle dove. Look at the hard top of the rock and the great strong return there. And it thins out a little bit. And you can see it thins out and it darkens up here. It's a little softer bottom piece. And there's actually a fish hanging right out there in 26 feet of water. The beauty of looking at 2D sonar and down imaging at the same time, sonar will give you some some really good general look at what the bottom is made of, but the down imaging gives you incredible detail and it will show you every finger of a branch underneath the water. But looking at those side by side will help you in your brain build a better picture of what's going down below. That's a perfect view of hard bottom and rocks that you really can't see, but I can see there's a rock there, I can see there's rocks there, and it just doesn't quite give you the definition. And that's really just because of the physics of those two beams. This one on the down imaging is kind of really thin and as we go over this area, we'll put it back in gear. It gives you a really wide beam and so that everything that we pass over, you're kind of getting a pictorial history of everything we've the boat's driven over. Right now, the 2D sonar tells you the depth. It will give you a hint that there's a rock there, but right there, you can see the rock in plain detail and watch this. You can see this transition zone on down imaging and 2D sonar. You can see the hard return and the hard return there kind of fade away and do the lake base and soft bottom. As an angler, those are great places to follow along to drop waypoints and to find fish that are in transition. So on my Lake Master, I got a series of humps here that go from hard to soft bottom and, and all kinds of stuff happening down there. I'm looking at the side imaging and I can actually see some weeds, which I think are weeds. I see some boulders and I know what those look like, no doubt. But I'm gonna flip over through some technologies here to help me get a better idea what's going on. So I'm gonna start with just conventional sonar. Man, you can see what's happening. It's all right there on the hard red line is the bottom. And those look like weeds. I'm not really sure those look like bait fish, but here's a really good way to tell. If you flip over to down imaging, it will give you an eye, oh, there you go. So right there, you can see the stalks, individual stalks of each weed on this transition. And then a whole school of bait fish right in the middle, right where that little saddle is. It's a great place for them to congregate. And then it's gonna drop off here. So you can see the bottom go down, some more weeds, some bait fish, a school of bait fish, and a school of bait fish. Now watch where my finger is. I'm gonna go back up to regular conventional sonar and look where my finger was pointing. Those are one, two, three, four game fish. Man, on this body of water, that looks like a walleye if I ever have seen one. Some lakes, you know, you're gonna see bass, others spotted bass, whatever your reservoir happens to have. This one happens to have walleyes in there. And I'd really like to have a bait on those fish right now. But the first part to catch them is at least finding where they're at. And I think we're really on the right track. Watch this, I'm gonna come back over to these reefs. And we've kind of gone off and look at that. I gotta take a screenshot of that because that is delicious. Look at, you get all of the individual weed stalks, bait fish, and there are the game fish sitting right there in ambush, pushing right up that hump. So you can see I'm right on the top of this hump and look how much taller the weeds are. The light levels get down a lot easier to the shallow top of that. And then it kind of gets a little shorter. The weed growth is a little more uh, just reserved as you go down the, the break there. And what I'm really looking for are these clumps. Here is. You come down, there's a little saddle there, and then you got this just tight part of weeds. That's a fantastic place for fish to lie in ambush. And that's what it looks on your 2D sonar. 
Gonna look at that on side imaging too. So interesting piece. So we're shooting the beams out to the side and you can see just this light patches. It almost looks like clouds on my screen. Those are all weed clumps and I know it's weed clumps because I can see them standing up off the bottom. We're actually driving right over those weeds. And look at that, that was a school of fish right near that transition of rocks. This kind of place has everything a fish needs. It's got cover, it's got the right temperature, it's got the right light levels, and most importantly, what fish want is food, and it's got that in abundance. Check that out. Back to regular sonar, that is a fish mark, and there is just, that fish is chewing on that school of bait. Watch this on DI. <laughs> there's that same fish, and there's that same school of bait. Just a big ball of bait, and that one is just chasing them. This is a fantastic spot. I got this little saddle area, and the walleyes on this lake really like the hard patches of bottom in between the weeds, so I'm gonna put the boat back in gear. That is a glorious piece of structure. And here's, here's how this shapes up. I'm gonna go back and forth, and you can just see a big blob of weeds there, a little blob there, but I'm gonna come back here and get, see on, on the down imaging, I can see each individual stalk of weeds, and then I can see individual dots. Now those are fish, watch this. See there's a nice arch there, a really nice return of a fish. And I'll keep my finger right there, and that is the fish in down imaging. And that gives me a really good idea of really what's happening. As I flip from screen to screen, from 2D sonar to down imaging, there's another fish there. But what I like about looking at those side by side is I can see small specks, like lots of them in a cluster. It looks like panfish or baitfish. But when you get those strong marks set apart, that's a game fish in there looking for food. You know, depth pilot is critical when you're looking for boat control and trying to figure out where the fish are. So I can adjust whatever depth I want to highlight here on the Lake Master map. And right now you can see it's about 22, 23 feet. And I've got a couple of feet highlighted either way but that is exactly where the fish are gathering. And it gives me just an ability to, to weed out water and to know where the fish are. And you can see every time we go over that green highlighted area, there are weeds, there's bait fish, there's game fish, and got it dialed up pretty good. I'm coming into another kind of part of this reef complex. It's a little bit deeper than what I've got highlighted. You can see that there, but I think there's some really good hard bottom that'll top out here. Watch, I've come off of that reef. I'm kind of in the saddle area. It looks like it's down to 30 feet. Lake Master spot on, it says 29 right there. And I'm gonna come back up. Now it's coming up to 26 feet and already I see some action on the bottom. That looks like fish. Man, two nice arches sitting there. Beautiful, just looking to chew on that school of bait fish. I'm gonna look at that in down imaging. Just a small school of bait fish and individual hard dots. But when you flip back and forth the screens, the, the, the nature of those sonar beams paint what's down there a little differently. But if you look at them side by side, down imaging always gives you the detail, 2D sonar, the coverage, and it will help you really understand what's happening underneath the boat. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's combo show, the above and below water. We put that together so you can get a better idea of what's happening on your fish finder. You know, finding areas of transition, finding areas that are different structure, and flipping screens on your sonar will really give you a better understanding of what's happening down below the boat. It'll make you a better angler the next time you want to go find fish. <laughs>